Hey YouTube, here is uh, <clears throat> part two of the E250. This thing's pretty emptied out. Um, I've got most of my stuff in the new van, but um, I noticed that I didn't have a build out of what actually ended up happening in here for final build stuff. So we'll go over that briefly here. Um, <clears throat> did a lot of mounting and stuff on here. I actually was not done with all of the build out here. There was going to be extra things on here, but I ended up shifting vans. We're still going to be using this one and it will, I'm sure, get built out further. But um, yeah, we did hammers and stuff on the top up here. Anything that's going to be on this side has really got to deal with a lot of swing. So um, you want to, you know, keep that in mind. Um, this side we've got, you know, utility knives, a couple extra Milwaukee battery holders here. I kept like trash bags. Again, they were going to slam really hard. I, I don't care. Um, pencil holder, a couple spray paint cans. I think this was exactly four. So when there's four in here, it doesn't slam and cause a problem. I had this extra board here that sat any of my circular saws. There's a couple cuts on here that the blade would just slot right down into it. That was convenient. Kept a lot of other like um, jacks and things of that nature under here. Uh, on this side, we cut some of these boards out so that the uh, handles of tools would, of the Milwaukee tools, would slot in under here. Miscellaneous storage up here, more batteries. I kept a lot of my PVC glues and stuff up here. Um, you can kind of see the shadows of where some things were. The sun damaged the wood and where it didn't. You can see I had, you know, Carpenter Square. Um, we had one of those Japanese pull saws. Um... You can even see the speed squares down here, um, demo bits in here. Blue box, I think we went over that in the first video. This ended up evolving slightly. Um, <clears throat> we ended up having the Milwaukee table saw in over here. Again, achievable because we went to 24 inches. Um, and then I put my nail guns in here, screwed on the top and bottom, Craig Jig style. Uh, furthermore, this side, we ended up making a couple boxes. This is where my laser sat. Um, I made this slide out, pocket jig together. And then this one, I think I made, if I remember correctly, we might have pocket jigged some of it. I know I slotted the bottom of this, and this is a quarter inch piece of plywood. We also do some fanciness because of the block we put back in there. So it just got a little more space. This was fasteners and stuff. Um, a shelf that I never really figured out. It, this had a lot of my drywall uh, quick stuff on here. And then um, in the bottom here, again, just a lot of like uh, screws, nails, big boxes, stuff like that. Uh, miscellaneous. Um, I did put another piece of plywood on the wall there. Same thing. I did the, the plus nuts um, to get these fastened and then uh, built off of that. This was all going to be built out. Again, got to the new van before I got there. But we had caulking all up in here. If you have all the caulk tubes in here, it doesn't go anywhere. Um, and as long as you're not making hard left or right turns, it doesn't either. This one was spray paint cans, I think, as well as some other things. Um, right on here, this was where the ladder is. And I did end up deciding to keep my, my folding ladder in here. And it slid right in this box. It was so convenient. It slid very easily. And then my Bosch miter saw sat on the top of this platform and just came right out the door. It was the easiest way to do it. My welder sat back here in this bay, and then all these bays were just buckets and, and stuff like that. I had sanders up here, welding supplies, stuff like that. Air compressor was down here. So that's pretty much how the build out turned out, guys. Um, if you have any questions about it, um, let me know. It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory though. Um, so yeah, I hope it helps. I hope it gives you guys some ideas on how to do some things um, that you are currently working on. So let me know if you have any questions about it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.